very good morning to you. I hope you're having a lovely morning. We're having a great morning here at Hochanda. And it's in the midst of our event, our family favourites. And we've got a brand new guest to introduce to you. We're very excited about it and I hope you will be too. But I do need to tell you we've got a giveaway in this hour. It's all part of our family favourites. We're celebrating family run businesses here at Hochanda. Now, anything you buy on the show you stand a chance of winning this and this is a crochet kit to make and create a beautiful lion oh my word so everything you need in that kit that's going to be the prize for you all you need to do is buy something and check on out uh, before 10 to 11 today that's 10 50 in um, other language right it is great to have your company and it's my privilege to introduce you now to our brand new guest it's Alison hello Alison hi how are you I'm fine thank you it's really lovely to have your company can you tell us first of all about the I love the name cornflake <laughs> stew it's made me really hungry now though uh, can you tell us a little bit about the company and about your journey um, I started crocheting when my youngest daughter was um, just born, so she was about three months old. Um, yeah, and then I, I actually learned from YouTube, watching YouTube videos, and then it just grew from there, really. That's amazing. How long has the business been running for? So, so just just under ten years, about nine years or so. Wow. And is this your very first time on television, Alison? Yes. Well, you're, doing, you're doing very well. <laughs> if you would like to welcome Alison to the Hochanda family, please email in. If you have any questions on crochet or you'd like to show us pictures of your crochet projects, I'm sure Alison would love to see them. And let her know that we've got a lot of crocheters out there. I think it's crocheters, crocheters. Crocheters. Yeah, crocheters, that'll do. Yeah. <laughs> um, so please do send in your pictures. We'd love to see them. <coughs> it is studio at hochanda.com or leave them on Facebook. Right. Alison, let's go through the kits and let's start with the giraffe. Now, the wool is very special that we're using. Can we talk about that? Yeah. So, the name of the wool? Uh, it's called Rico Rumi. Rico Rumi. And you will recognise that name uh, because they are also with us on Hochanda. And they recommended Alison to the Hochanda family. Uh, what's so special about this wool for anybody who's not seen it before, Alison? Um, it comes in so many colours. It's got, um, I think, 80 colours. Uh, they're so lovely. It's, it's really soft cotton to work with. Um, usually you find cotton can be quite splitty um, but it's, it's lovely it works re works up really well and is that how you get these beautiful professional looking animals <laughs> I mean these are uh, amazing we were talking about this earlier that the crochet itself for me seems really tight really small really compact which yeah. is brilliant yeah it's just because um, you, you use quite a small hook um, to, to crochet with and because the cotton makes it's quite like dense, yes. so it, it makes the um, animals look quite professional looking. That is the word that I was trying <laughs> to think of, dense. <laughs> I don't know how I didn't think of that word. <laughs> uh, but it does give that professional look to it as well. And you get everything in the kit, don't you? Yeah, everything that you need, yeah. So you've got the stuffing, you've got the eyes, you've got the wool in there, you've got the needle, you've got the instructions as well. And Alison will take you through the instructions, but they are very, very comprehensive, easy to follow as well. So Alison, if you've never crocheted before, could you pick this project up and start to crochet? Well, to be honest, I, I would have a little practice um, of holding your hook and your yarn first, um, just because the way you make the, the toys, um, it's, it is a little bit tight, tighter than what you would normally, just how you would normally crochet. Okay. Um, so I would recommend having a little bit of a practice with a little swatch before you actually started on a toy. That's a good idea. So if this is your first time, um, then you're starting off with this fabulous, dense style <laughs> of crochet. And if you already crochet, then this is going to be uh, a new style for you. So that's perfect. Uh, 119222 uh, for personal use only. So make, create and gift if you want to. 
Oh, I'd want to keep this myself. <laughs> now, I will ask a question, actually, Alison, whilst we're here, because I'm thinking about all the different ways we can use this. Decorative, beautiful, um, as, a, as a, um, a lovely little friend for somebody, do be aware that you've got the eyes as well, so think about uh, the age. Uh, if it's a baby, maybe embroider the eyes yeah, on, would definitely. you say? Yeah, definitely, um, yeah. We've got the stuffing that's included. I'm just looking at the way this giraffe is sitting on here. Could we put some weight in there, maybe sit it on a bookshelf? You could, yeah, yeah, you definitely could do that. That's a good idea. So lovely. Gorgeous colours as well. Do we have a name for the giraffe, Alison? I actually don't have a name for the giraffe because he was the very first design I ever made. Really? Um, and I actually didn't think I would have lots of giraffes or lots of <laughs> the same animal. <laughs> so he's actually just the giraffe. <laughs> oh, well, I'll tell you what, everyone, if you want to name him, why don't you email in? It could be Mr. Giraffe, Mrs. Giraffe, uh, or Ms. Giraffe, or what's the other, uh, or Mr. or Mrs. You know the score. Um, email in your names, it'd be a bit of fun. It'd be a bit of fun. Um, 19 inches in height, so let's just take this and just to show you there. So it's a really good design, beautiful, beautiful colours in there, and uh, a good size as well. So that's your giraffe, the giraffe. Unless you name him for us, <laughs> 119222. Now, uh, we have got the tiger next. Um, now, I know tigers and cornflakes don't go, but they do go with something <laughs> else. And I don't know why I'm associating with that. Uh, so cute. I love the style of the animals because you have that cuteness in here, don't you, Alison? Yeah. Do you design them? Yeah, yeah. And yeah. are you an artist? Do you draw? Uh, actually, no, not really. Really? <laughs> no. Well, you've done a very good job on these. Um, lovely, cute face there. Um, and if I turn this around, you've got the tail on the back. And I love the way we've got the stripy arms and the stripy legs. I say arms and legs. Uh, they're all legs on a tiger, but now they're arms and legs. And it looks brilliant. And you've got that lovely tail on the back as well. So cute. Everything you need, remember, included in that kit. And your tiger, size-wise, size -wise, uh, 16 inches tall and you've got those lovely feet as well 29 pounds and 99 pence seven double four nine three nine oh it's so cute just stand i love the way the heads sit alison that is <laughs> a lo lovely design so sweet right next up um our producer katie's got her eye on this one uh it's a crocodile or is it an alligator there's the question mm, I, mm, I think he's a crocodile he's a crocodile yeah. I don't know what that, I think alligators are larger yeah. than crocodiles. I'd like to say cuter, but I don't think I'd get up close <laughs> to a crocodile to find that out. But I would get up close to this. Um, how lovely is this design? £29.99, 045207. Uh, the theme so far, Alison, has been jungle and exotic animals. Uh, do you like animals from the jungle? Um. Yeah, do you know any any animal? Yeah, I, yeah. I tend to go for animals over like dolls, like dolls, like girls and boys and things. Yeah. I tend to do animals. Does the crocodile have a name? Uh, Corky. Corky. Yeah. Corky the crocodile. Oh, he's brilliant. I love that. <laughs> um, so if you want to get Corky. Um, all the kits do come in a drawstring bag as well, so you can keep everything nice and safe. Um, and, you know, as crafters, maybe you've got some fabric ink or you could embroider that as well, so it'd make a really nice gift. Uh, especially if it's for um, somebody, that could be a nice little gift uh, pack to wrap it up in. So that's your crocodile, Corky the crocodile, 2599-045207. Now, who doesn't like a panda? Oh, this is so sweet, <laughs> Alison. Oh, are you a fan of pandas yourself? Oh, definitely. Now look at this. Again, it's this design with the head because it sits so perfectly, doesn't it? Yeah, it's really, e when you're making it, it's, it actually, one of the benefits of that design is that it sews together really easily. Oh, right. You don't have like an open section sewed to another open section. Yeah. So it's, it's actually really quite easy to make. Oh, it's so lovely. Does he have a name? Or He's she? called Pickles. Pickles. Oh, look. He's looking at a wobble of the head as well. Pickles the panda. You talking to me? Are you talking to me? Yeah, go, go to camera three. Are you talking to me? Hello, everybody. 
I don't know why I gave them that kind of accent, but there you go. Uh, £28.99. Lovely colours there. So you've got the grey and the cream. You've got his little nose as well. Everything in the kit, including instructions as well. Uh, a great little gift for somebody, whether you make it up and give it, or whether you give it as a gift for them to make up. 979381. Now, we have got an owl, so I'm sure you're going to have a hoot making this guy and if you want to buy a couple of these that will give you a parliament ah, of owls yeah very good yeah your very own parliament who'd have thought um so super sweet love the design on this as well uh, and you've got that lovely detail of the feathers it's those touches that makes these so special isn't it Alison? yeah definitely love him uh, or her of course 864492 is your item number lovely colorings there for your owl a very wise owl uh, 864492 remember you do get the stuff in to go inside all of the animals but if you wanted to add something maybe a bit of weight to weight it down you're more than welcome to do so right next up You've got the cactus. Is this a, t is this a teether? Yeah, it's a, a, like a baby's teething Aww. toy. Or a key ring. Ah. I'd have that. <laughs> you you would wouldn't not, lose your keys. <laughs> you wouldn't lose your keys, would you? Uh, it's only twelve ninety nine. I mean, that is so lovely. Four seven two zero two three is your item number if you want to go for your cactus teether croquet kit. Isn't that lovely? What a lovely thing to crochet. And you've got on there. You've got the little um, prickles. <laughs> On there, and they're all in the shape of all in the shape of the shape of love hearts. Yeah, the spi the spiky bits. There you go. Had to think about that one. It's only eleven minutes past ten in the morning. Uh, four seven two zero two three. Now, <sighs> did you know that unicorns were the national animal of Scotland, Alison? Oh, really? Yeah. Yes, they are. And uh, more than one unicorn is a blessing. Ah, oh, yes. Yeah. yeah. These are lovely. Look at that. Um, now, would you sew the horn onto the unicorn or is that all one piece? It, yeah, that's sewn on separately, the horn. Is it? Yeah. So if you wanted to, if you wanted to have just a horse, maybe you could do. Oh, definitely. Yeah, just leave off the horn. Love that. And um, we've got the lovely mane and the tail as well, which is really sweet. £29.99. 164021 is your item number. Who doesn't love a unicorn? Absolutely beautiful. And if you did want to go for more than one of the kits, you can imagine how these would look. You can see how they are on the counter, but you can imagine how these would look on a shelving with some books in between. Uh, we've had lots of emails welcoming yeah. Alison <laughs> to the Hochanda family. And we've had an email from, from Kim. Kim has gone for the giraffe, the owl, the crocodile and the unicorn. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. oh well done. Um, well, you never know. You might get a lion if you win the <laughs> prize draw. Um, now, that is fantastic. Oh, that is great news. Oh, you you're going to love making those. And again, they're going to look fantastic uh, wherever you pop them in your home. Right, let's have a look at that prize again. You buy anything in the show, you check on out before 10 to the hour and you can win a kit to make a lion. Oh, isn't that fantastic? It really, really is. So all you have to do, buy anything in the show, but check out your baskets, before, I would say be well before 10 to the hour, just to make sure you're in. If you check out your baskets now, you're in the draw. Um, so there you go, to win that lion, which is fabulous. Right, so we're going to have some demonstrations from um, Alice and I think we're going to have a look at uh, some instructions and how to start your project. So, which animal are we going to look at first, Alison? Um, I'm going to show you how to um, make the panda's legs. Oh, okay. Um, I think when people maybe look at them and think maybe how to join the legs might be a little bit difficult, um, but it's actually really, really easy. Um, and I'm just going to show you how to join them. So basically, the first leg you need to finish off completely. Um, but then when you start, when you get to the same point on the second leg, uh, you need to keep your yarn attached. And then once you finish the round, you need to do a chain six. So once you've done your chain, Um, you then just keep keep your chain on your hook 
and you basically just grab your first leg um, you put your hook I mean it doesn't matter wh where about in the leg you put your hook put it under a stitch and then make a single crochet Oops. and then basically they're joined so you'd carry on all the way around the, the first leg that you made making a single crochet in each stitch around um, I would like to point out as well that I actually um, write my patterns using American crochet terms not UK crochet terms. Oh, is there a big difference, Alison? Um, not, not a massive difference, but in the UK crochet terms, you don't have a single crochet. You would call it a double crochet. Oh, so okay. it's really easy to decipher between the two. Yeah. Um, but yeah, just, just in case anyone was wondering, this, I actually do write them in. It's because I, I learned to crochet on YouTube. Um, and... The, just so happened that the tutorials I was watching were in American yeah. crochet terms. I guess it sticks with you then, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. I just yeah. Find, so I just find that easier now. Yeah. So yeah, you just crochet all the way around the first leg. And as we mentioned before, Alison, it's advisable that people um, practice on a swatch. So even if you yeah. are a beginner, like our Katie producer, she would love to make one of these kits but she's never ever crocheted before yeah um, I mean lots of people have literally just picked picked up a kit and learned to crochet using yeah. that kit um, but I, I would recommend doing doing a little practice swatch first yeah um, just to just to basically it's a bit awkward when you're learning to hold the hook and the yarn and it just feels a bit wrong yeah so I just um have a little practice just I mean you could just pick up a ball and have a practice with it yeah. and make a little swatch so yeah so now your legs are joined you want to work where you made that chain you want to work into the chain to get back across to the other leg okay so you just want to work all the way across the stitches of the chain And something like crochet, you can pick this up if, if you're watching the TV. Oh, definitely, yeah. Some moments in your lunch hour, you know, if you are back at work at the moment, or if you, indeed if you're not back at work and you're at home for any particular reason, then this gives you a chance just to rest your mind and do something different. Yeah. Um, I actually can't just sit and watch TV without having something in my hand anymore. So once you've done all the way across the chain, you basically just want to crochet back around the other leg. And that, that is it, it's joined together. And then you just follow the instructions for the rest of the body, but basically you, you work in the body now. Now I can see how quickly you're doing that, but <laughs> I think people at, at home, if they're beginning to crochet, they will get up to these speeds oh, and it becomes second yeah, nature. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. 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 And then would the stuffing that comes included with the kit go into the legs, Alison? Yes, I always recommend, like, I've actually stuffed these already a little bit. Um, but if you just keep stuffing as you go, because otherwise you'll end up with a whole body and then you'll have to squish all the stuffing down the bottom using something or other, the end of your hook. Now when we talk about doing a swatch, Alison, to, pra to practice, which is, which is important if this is the first time uh, crocheting, have you got enough wool uh, in the actual kits to do that and then carry on with your project? Uh, yeah, you'll have, in you'll have plenty. Yeah, yeah, you'll have plenty left over, but it's so easy just to just to pull it out <laughs> it takes seconds it's oh. honestly it, you can just literally i'd probably pull that out in ma a matter of seconds so you could crochet a little yes. swatch and then and just go -la -la -la, yeah and it'll come out well i mean yeah. you don't need to go -la -la -la. <laughs> that, that's an added option for you <laughs> but you but you know what do us a favor just do it when you get it home it's more fun <laughs>
Uh, so yeah, that's that's it joined together, and you're back around to your beginning chain. Oh, look at that! And the legs are joined. Look so at you that. would just carry on now and work the rest of the body. But you can see there when you when you have those apart, that shot just there that we're seeing. Yeah. You can see the quality of that crochet, that more dense. You can see the yeah. quality in that. Yeah, that's the thing I love about the cotton cotton yes. yarn. I, I absolutely love it. Yeah, I don't it, use anything else now. Really? Yeah, yeah. I literally have a house full of cotton. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, right. Well, we are getting busy for um, the animals we've got on the show. Well, thank Alison just for a moment. We're heading back there, though. And thank you for all your emails welcoming Alison to the family as well. I do need to tell you, though, a quarter of the stock, or oh, over a quarter of the stock, of the giraffe has gone. A quarter of the stock. He's a great... Have we got any names yet for the giraffe? We've been asking for names to name the giraffe. It's absolutely gorgeous. And I love... Oh, uh, Jill says bubblegum for a name. I like that. I like that name. Very cute. Yeah, I suppose that's inspired by the pink, maybe. Um, and just to clarify, that was Jill saying call the giraffe bubblegum, not bubblegum emailing in call the giraffe Jill. <laughs> Although Jill would be a lovely name. Jill the giraffe. Very, very nice. Jill with a G. Jill the giraffe. Uh, 28 pounds and 99 pence again you've got those great instructions to lead you through the design you've got the bag and you've also got everything you need to get started which is brilliant including your needle as well and that needle being plastic which is perfect we have said that you get the eyes included but if this is for a young um, a younger person you could always embroider the eyes on that's going to be down to you when you get it home it's absolutely fabulous uh, now you do get the stitch marker and the tapestry needle as well so everything's included right there for you 119222 is your item number 19 inches tall for your giraffe right shall we look at the tiger 20% of the tiger has gone do you, know, do you know what I love about this I'm just gonna lift him up look at his white socks well, we call them white socks, his little feet. Aren't they lovely? I think that is gorgeous. I love the colours with the yellow, with the stripes down the arm. Uh, lovely plain yellow for the body and the stripes down the legs. And those, I mean, look at them. They always say, you know, the size of a dog by its paws. Look at the size of this. Maybe he'll grow with you. Who knows? Uh, but he's a lovely little chap. He really is. Um, or she could be he or she. Do we have a name for the tiger? Smudge. Smudge. Smudge the tiger. Oh, you wouldn't run away from that if you saw him out in the streets, would you, or in the wild? You would from a real one, though. Uh, 744939 is your item number, brand new today. Absolutely gorgeous. And then, shall we go for the crocodile? 20% of the stock of the crocodile has gone. Corky the crocodile, absolutely beautiful. Love him, he's fabulous. Um, these will look fantastic just on a shelf in a child's bedroom, on the shelf in your bedroom, or just to have there as your friend, as your mascot maybe, in your craft room. Or maybe it's going to be a, a friendship um, present for somebody. These are for personal use or make to give to somebody, uh, but do be aware of that lovely. £25.99, 045207, your item number. Um, perfect. Now let's have a look at the panda. We were working on Mr. Panda's legs um, and then just <laughs> very, nearly, very nearly just got the legs and showed you sort of in between where they're joined, but you can't see it and I don't know why I was going to do that. Uh, but with your panda, lift up his head. You see you've got the lovely grey colour there and I, I like I like that you know Alison that it's not a black and white that it's the grey and white because it makes yeah. it like a softer colouring doesn't it yeah that's why I went for the grey I think yeah. um I don't I, I think it'd be too harsh black yeah the contrast yeah. between the two yeah it's nice in the grey especially if it's for a little baby boy yeah. or girl uh 28 pounds and 99 pence 979 381 is your item number and what's nice about this you've got a grey little bag that it comes in let me just show you this I'm just going to ruin the, the pack shot there you go you get a little gray pouch that, that goes in so that matches perfectly isn't that lovely and again embroider that if you want to um, if you're giving this to a friend or a family member lovely so everything in the kit uh, next up is the owl the wise owl with the wings so the wings aren't actually 
crochet to the body. What's nice about that, you can actually lift the wings up. And this is how delicate and how beautiful the crochet pattern is on here because those wings are lovely. And £25.99, 864492 is your item number. You've got the lovely uh, feather detail on there as well. You've got the beak and the two eyes, which is fantastic. Again, everything you need in the kit. Next up, you've got the cactus teether. You can see there all the spikes, as I'm now calling them, uh, go around there, which look brilliant in the shape of love hearts. And then you've got the teether at the top. Um, if you wanted to, you could use that as a key ring, but hey, uh, £12.99. pence. lovely, isn't it? Um, seven, I was going to say, actually, you could... You could loop things through there if you wanted as well, you know, like for storage in the yeah. kitchen or something like little towels or whatnot. Uh, 472023 is your item number if you want to go for your cactus teether crochet kit. And then the unicorn. 30% of Flossie has gone. Let me just show you that side uh, profile there. Isn't that lovely? Just having a little nap maybe in the bedroom or probably just having a little think about things. Uh, but again, the head... You've got that lovely pattern on there. You've got the mane that goes down there and the tail as well. So super cute. Just sitting there on the shelf. Maybe just nodding off, going to sleep. £29.99, 164021 is your item number. Now, all, all of these are on the website. Uh, we've got some other items for you as well if you want to go and have a peruse on the website. Anything you buy, remember, whether it's from the web or from us here in the live show via a telephone call to the call centre, you will be entered into that draw. So... Can I just clarify, is it anything during this hour or in the show? So it's the items in the show. Um, so buy any of those from uh, Lovely Cornflake Stew, then you'll be entered into the prize draw, which is fabulous. Right, so we're going to head back to Alison. What are we going to have a look at now, Alison? Um, we're having a look at the cactus. Um, and the cactus is really easy to make. Um, but I was just going to show you the very bottom, when you, when you start the cactus, you start at the top and work your way down. Um, at the very bottom, we work into the back loops only. Um, and what that means is, normally when you work uh, the crochet stitch, you work under these two loops that kind of look like a V. Um, for when, when I do the decrease around round here, we just work into the back loops, so we're not going under both. That would be both of the loops. Um, we take the hook out and we're just going to use that back loop only to carry on to decrease. So you would do the decrease stitches as normal, the, sorry, the normal crochet stitches. But then when you come to decrease, we do an invisible decrease. Um, and it just means that you would not see the stitch quite, it wouldn't be as chunky. Um, so when you do an invisible decrease, you would just hook under the back loop of that first stitch. And then you would hook under the back loop of the next stitch along. Then you would yarn over and finish your stitch as you would normally do it, which makes it a little bit more tight if you're doing it just in the back loops um, but I just wanted to show you how really how easy it is and that's your decrease stitch done and you can't really see any difference between the decrease and the normal stitch oh, no. so then you would just carry on all the way around decreasing so you do like two stitches and then a decrease stitch um, and that just closes the bottom up nicely um, when you this is the only round that you would do the back loops in. The next round would be back to normal where you would use both loops. So this would just make the bottom of the cactus that little bit more flat um, instead of rounded at the bottom. Got so you. it would make, looks, make, makes it look like it's stood up yeah. a bit better. Yeah, that is fantastic. What a great technique. Maybe that's something you've not done before um, because of your style of crochet. Maybe you've just crocheted blankets and things like that. So now we're looking at objects and that's a lovely new technique. The instructions, I've got them here, um, easy to follow. So on the first page, the tools and the materials you need, well, you've got those. 
they come included in the kit so they're all there so you can tick those off which is brilliant you've got your abbreviations so within the instructions all your abbreviations then you've got those down there so you can refer back to those because they are on the front page which is great um, because they're on the front page and you don't have anything on the reverse you can just pop that to the side which is brilliant and then as you're going through the instructions if there's an abbreviation in there that you can see you just refer to it back on the start you've got your pictures in there as well we all love pictures don't we it makes it so much easier so you've got your text and your pictures for both ways of learning and the instructions are very very clear £12.99 if you want to go for the cactus teaser and that's a demonstration we've just provided for you there. Now we have had an email in. Linda has emailed in. Oh, and Linda's emailed in, Alison. She said you could embroider a face on the cactus yes. and then it could be a little bodybuilder. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would be so cute. <laughs> little, little bodybuilder cactus there. <laughs> well, it would need to be strong if you've got a little baby munching away just at the top there, <laughs> pulling. Um, brilliant. So twelve ninety nine if you want to go for that. That is a lovely, lovely idea. It really is. Um, OK, Alison, we'll come back to you to carry okay. on with the demonstration. Thank you. So you just carry on decreasing. Um, and I was going to show you how to actually, when, once you've got your decreases all done, you end up with like six, usually, anyway, if you've, my patterns, end up with like six stitches left, um, which you can't really decrease anymore because the, the, it just gets too tight. Um, so you would use your tapestry needle to weave through the last, the front, the front loops, like where we did the back loops there, you just use the front loops to weave through those stitches in and out, and then you would be able to pull it tight and you wouldn't get any gap left at the bottom. So you'd see no stuffing or, and it would be a right, really nice, like neat finish. Yeah, perfect. Uh, it's, it's a great technique to learn because once you've learned that technique, Alison, with the kit that we're providing, if you were to uh, make another item that needed that particular technique, you've kind of got that in mind. Yeah, that's it. Like one, I think once you've done one amigurumi, you could you could do you could follow any pattern really. It, the te the techniques are all the same. Yeah, so it's a great way of learning, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, great way of learning. Uh, right, we are going to take a look at the seven day savers because you might be interested in some of these. Your seven day savers were launched yesterday at 8 a.m. Zips, lots of zips for you. 11.99, when they were telling me to zip it, I now realize what they meant. Uh, you've got 50 zips in total, saving 38 pounds, 661201. We've got some books for you now. And these are by Tula Pink. I'm actually following Tula Pink um, on Instagram. She's fantastic. The designs and uh, the colours that she brings together are amazing. They really are. Go and check her out on Instagram. Um, other social media platforms are available. But anyway, uh, you've got two books there. Great price, £28.98. Saving £20. So 159466 is your item number. Right, OK, let's have a look at the kits. Now, over a third of the stock has gone of the giraffe. A third of the stock. We've got some names coming in as well. So with the kit, I'll tell you what I'll do. Let's get all the items and pop them into the bag so that we can see what we've got, so we can make sure that we've got everything here. So first of all, oh, we've had Georgie. Kaz has emailed in. She said, Georgie the giraffe. I like that. I'm getting the nod from Alison. She likes that too. Uh, so there's your bag. And inside the bag, oh, you get a little little organza, little organza bag because you've got all your little um, bits and bobs in there. So your organza bag will include, you've got your eyes in there. Remember, you can embroider those on if you want to. You've also got the back of the eyes, so they go in there as well. You've got your crochet hook, so that's lovely. Ergonomically designed as well, which is something you need. Uh, when you're doing a lot of crocheting. I really like that. Flat at each side and then a really nice rubbery feel to that. So it's not made of plastic. It's not going to get sweaty or anything like that. So that's an advantage. Lovely. You've also got your tapestry needle. That's included. That's made of plastic. Uh, you've got your st stitch marker. I think, is that a stitch marker, Alison? Yes. Yep. You've got your stitch marker. Pop that inside. And then you've got that gorgeous, beautiful Rika Rooney wool. 
Uh, so you've got your four colours there that you can see that are in the draft. So we'll pop those into the bag. Thank you very much. I'm having this. Oh, don't go anywhere, George. Draft, stay there. No, you're not going in the bag. Don't worry. You can stay there. Don't worry. Don't worry. All right, then lean against me. Um, and you've got your stuffing as well. So that goes in the bag. I'm not going to put you in the bag. It's all right. And you've got your little card and you've got your instructions as well. So all of those go in the bag and that is going to be a great gift for somebody. And again, if you embroider something on the front or maybe stamp something on the front, that is going to be fabulous when they get that home. And then that will create your giraffe. Uh, very busy for the giraffe. If you do want him, uh, please do check out your baskets. 119222. Let's head back to Alison for another demonstration. So now I was just going to show you how to do um, Flossie's head. Um, the head kind of the head and the body for Flossie are all made in one piece, um, and it can be a little. You can look at the shape and think it might be a little bit tricky to do, uh, but actually it's it's really simple. Um, I've done the, the the stitches enough stitches for the rest of the nose, and then we're going to split split the head off so that we'll have the head which would be here and then the neck which would be here so I've done the 36 stitches around and then all you do is join your yarn to that first stitch again and then carry on crocheting around and this would make then it's joined and then you would just carry on and make the rest of the nose so the head and the body are all worked together as one, so there's no sewing the head to the body. Um, and it looks really cute, like having a little dangly head. Um, so then you'd carry on working all the way around here, which would make the nose, if it was that way. And then once you've finished the nose, you'd stuff, you'd finish stuffing the head and then you would join your yarn back in again on the first stitch that you left behind from the last round and then you would just carry on according to the pattern to make the rest of the neck and carry on to make the body so I'll just carry on making the rest of the head and it really is that easy I really like the feature that you've got with all the heads, uh, especially if you're going for more than one. Because of the design, the collection, they all work well together, don't they? Yeah, yeah. Love that. And then this technique, is that similar to the one that you were using with the legs, with the cactus to bring it in? Uh, yes, you, so you would just carry on um, building the sides of the nose so you would literally just go around and around the same amount of stitches uh, but then when when it comes to decreasing instead of like the cactus we went into the back loops but we wouldn't need to with with the flossy we just start decreasing to close the nose um, and make sure you stuff really well um, I find if you put too little stuffing in it, it doesn't hold its shape that you know as well it needs to be nice and firm yeah so you need to really stuff the stuffing in and um you can't really have too much in there <laughs> um unless unless it starts to like make your stitches open up because you yeah. don't want your stuffing to show through um but yeah you, you really need to stuff them really well Perfect. Uh, and here he is. There you go. There's that head that was being created just there. And you can see that does have quite a bit of stuffing in there. Uh, so do podge it out uh, and make sure that you get the correct amount in there. Just make sure, as Alison says, the stitches don't start to expand. Once you've got it in, I'm sure you get a feel for that, which is lovely. And that's what makes that head just sit beautifully, just resting there, maybe on a bookshelf or resting on the side of a table or again, just being with you could be at the side of your uh, chair as you're watching TV just could be a friend sitting there 164021 if you want to go for flossy the unicorn 29 pounds and 99 pence great price right should we give you a reminder of all the items we've got on the show 
uh, because we've got about 10 minutes for you to check out your basket and purchase any of the items in the show to be entered into the prize draw. So I'll keep Flossie with me a moment. So very busy for the giraffe, very busy indeed. Half the stock has now gone, 119222. Um, beautiful colours in this. We've had some names come through. Bubblegum, says Jill, is a good name. And we actually thought Jill would be a good name. Jill, uh, Jill the giraffe, which is great. Uh, Kath says Georgie, Georgie the giraffe, it could be. Uh, it's a beautiful design, it really is. £28.99. Uh, £28 this could be the first toy or gift that you give uh, to your grandchild or your niece or your nephew uh, or a great gift for yourself. Remember, it does come with the eyes, but if you're giving this to a younger member of the family, then just embroider the eyes on and be safe. Right, next up... We've got the tiger. Love the tiger. Look at his feet. Isn't that so cute? I'm just going to pop him up there because he looks so sweet. Um, how much of the stock? A third of the stock has gone. Look at this. We're both stripy today. Um, he's so super sweet, isn't he? He really, really is. 744-939 is your item number for that one. So you can just stay just there. And then we've got the crocodile. We've got the crocodile. Uh, another lovely, popular design for you. And this is 0452072025 pounds and 99 pence. Now we are starting to get cues on the phones. Uh, please do bear with us. We will make sure that we get through to your call. The best way to order would be the website. But you can see the quality that you're getting here and also the quality of the uh, wool that we're using as well. Uh, next up, we've got the panda. Uh, another popular item, love the colours of the panda, the grey and the white. It's just a softer tone, isn't it? Uh, especially if you're giving this to um, maybe a niece, nephew, grandchild. It's lovely. And it's that head as well, isn't it? It's beautiful, as you can see just there. So perfectly designed. You get the bag and you get everything you need to build and create that. And the instructions are really easy to follow. Uh, 979381. Flossie's staying with me. Uh, here's your owl. Uh, I love this design as well because you can see how those um, wings just lift up beautifully crocheted. And this is something you'll achieve when you get them home as well. £25.99, 864492. And then you've got your bodybuilder. No, it's a cactus. Uh, this is your cactus teether, but it was a good idea about popping a face on there and it could be a bodybuilding cactus. <laughs> it's only £12.99, 472023. And then my new best friend, just here, it's flossy. Gorgeous colours, actually, used in this. Nice hochanda pink. £29.99, 164021. And the demonstration was creating the head on flossy. So you can watch the show again on Rewind. It will be available for 60 days. So you can watch those demonstrations again from the lovely Alison. Right, if you are a Freedom member, there's no PMP to pay on any of the items that you buy from us here on Hochanda. Uh, it's a great way to save money and it's a great way to save because you get discounts exclusive to Freedom members. Now instead of me telling you about it, here's our lovely Alex to tell you more. Hello everyone, I've got a minute or two to tell you why you should all be members of Hachanda Freedom. Did you know that with Hachanda Freedom you could be saving on your deliveries every month? For just a £6.97 monthly fee, you will benefit yeah. from unlimited standard delivery, no, which means the more it. you spend with us, the more you save. Yeah. And yeah. you know the best bit, you can cancel any time. Becoming a member of Hachanda Freedom, you will also be able to take advantage of our exclusive Freedom member discounts, where you can save anything up to 20% on an already fantastic Hachanda price. Freedom members will also receive our exclusive members badge and Freedom newsletter, which will keep you updated with all the goings on behind the scenes. Just look at all these benefits for £6.97 per month. Over 10,000 of you are already members and we thank you so much for being a part of our family and sharing your crafting passion with us. In fact, I'm now going to hand over to you to tell everyone else about your experience with Hachanda Freedom. It's lovely because you have the special offers, don't you, that are, give you a nice discount, off, sometimes up to 20%. I don't have to worry about the postage. I, I can spend a fiver on something that I've seen as and when I've seen it, or I can spend 20 or 30 or 50 pounds, it doesn't matter. I get special offers, I get special discounts, they tell me when everything's happening, so if there's a special show I want to watch, then it's there. Yes, you do save. If you buy like I do, you save. <laughs> you see, 
You could be a member instantly for £6.97 per month with no ongoing monthly obligation. So when you want to cancel, you can. Just give us a call or go to our website quoting the item number 88888. So, don't forget, you get your unlimited standard delivery, exclusive freedom discounts, members badge and a members newsletter. What are you waiting for? Join Hachanda Freedom today and become a member of the growing Hachanda family. Oh, is she professional? She's so lovely. So lovely is our Alex. Right, okay. Uh, you've got five minutes to check out your baskets to be in with a chance for winning the crochet kit to make the lion. I know. Right, let's give you a reminder of what we've got on the show. Everything is available on the website. Um, and you can, of course, give us a call. But if you want to head to the website, you'll be able to see all of the kits and you'll be able to buy them very, very easily. So if you do want to go for Flossie, £29.99, 164021. Now, the kits come complete for you, so you don't need to reach out and grab anything else to make our wonderful animals. And they also come with instructions as well, which are easy to follow because they have been designed by Alison. So, Alison, can you talk us through some of the instructions so we can have a look? Yeah, definitely. Um, um, so on the first page of the instructions, um, I just give like a roundup of the pattern, the size that, um, it, that it should end up, um, what you need, which is obviously everything that's in the kit, um, the abbreviations that I use um, when you crochet in. So like, as I said, these are in American crochet terms, not UK crochet terms, but it is really simple to convert them. Um, then. When we get into the instructions, um, usually I start with the head. Um, or some people prefer to start with the legs, with the body, but um, I like to get all the little fiddly bits over and done with first. Um, so we'll start with the head first. And with this particular one, I actually start with the eyes for the panda um, because you'll need to add the eyes in as you're making the head. So it makes sense basically just to start with the eyes first and then carry on when you when you need them you can place them in quite easily um, and then it, it, there's lots of pictures included um, I like to put in as many as possible just to you know make, make it easy for people in case they're not quite sure um, when they're reading through the pattern so there's lots of pictures included um, and then like I said then there's the instructions for when, where you join the legs, so there is lots of pictures included on that as well. Um, and yeah, that, that's it really. The, the, the instructions are very detailed, step by step. So every, every, every round that you do, um, there is an instruction for. So there's no guessing in between. It's just like every single step along the way. If anyone has just joined us and they're thinking, oh, American terms, is it... Is there a big difference between the terminology? Do you think people will be able to work that out? Or indeed, they could look online, I guess, if they, oh, yeah, if they need to know more. Yeah, there's, there's, you basically just have a look online and there's, there's conversion charts. Um, but for, for as far as the Amigurumi characters go, the only difference is that in American terms, you'd call them a single crochet, and in UK terms, you'd call it a double crochet. So that's, so that's all you need to know. That yeah. It, yeah, it's the same stitch. Yeah, it's the same stitch, which is perfect. Uh, and Alison, of course, self-taught in crochet, and 10 years later, look where we are. A brand new <laughs> guest on Hochander. It's amazing, isn't it? Who knows, this could be the start of your journey. And then maybe in 10 years time, or one year time, or two years time, you might come to us here at Hochanda. You never know. You never know where this is going to take you. Or you might be just making these to give to a friend or family. Or maybe start to create and keep they make a really nice collection, they would. Right, 164021 is your item number. If you want to go for Flossie the Unicorn, remember everything is in the kit, so you do not have to reach out and get anything. Uh, your little organza bag will come with all your tools in there, right. so you've got your crochet needle and everything else that you need to complete. You've got your wool as well. There you go, your rigorumi wool, which is really important because it's top, top quality. You've got your stuffing. and each of the kits you've got your instructions and you've also got a bag as well so when the item comes to you through your door it's all in the bag 
and then you can either gift it uh, in the bag for somebody to make and create or you can actually embroider the bag and maybe put your um, items in there once they're made. So 164021 if you want to go for flossy, gorgeous. Right, next up, you've got your cactus teether, which I think is a fabulous idea. If you know someone that's had a, a new addition to the family, I think this is going to be an absolute godsend to them because, of course, when the baby is teething, they need something to chomp on. Uh, £12.99 and, 99 pence, and um, that is made of wood, uh, zero, uh, sorry 472023 is your item number. We've had suggestions of maybe embroidering a little face on there and it could be a bodybuilding uh, cactus which is quite sweet, which is really sweet, it's lovely. Uh, so that's your cactus, £12.99 and, um, and then of course once you've got the pattern, I might ask um, Alison, this question actually. Uh, we've got a tool in here. Now I don't see this tool in the other kits. I might be wrong. Um, this tool right here, Alison, yep. what's that? That is just a crochet hook. It's it's the crochet hook that comes with the cactus kit. Right. Um, and it's exactly the same. It's the same size. It just hasn't got the rubber handle. Ah, okay. So that. I like the colour of that. Again, uh, ergonomically designed because you've got the little uh, grip area in the middle. Perfect. So that's your cactus. Next up, I'll be seeing you if you buy this one. Uh, well, that's what the owl will say. I won't see you if you buy this one. I don't come in the pack, thankfully. Uh, you've got your two wings here that lift up, which are great. So I, you could stitch them up like that. You could have the owl going, woo. Um, or you could, if you wanted to, you could have the wings outstretched maybe put something inside the wings could be an idea yeah maybe could be an idea uh 864492 is your item number and you've got your lovely uh, feathers on there as well uh our director's just had an idea what was your idea mr baker i think it's a barn owl isn't it Alison? yes yeah a it's barn a barn owl, owl. Yeah. it's not a teat <laughs> owl no it's not no Actually, someone did that joke on me at the weekend. I still didn't, I still didn't get it then. Uh, <laughs> that's your owl. And, uh, yeah, this owl is a little bit wiser than our director. Uh, right. <laughs> You've got your panda just here. Oh, you should hear what I'm hearing in my ear. Um, I love this. The design of the animals. You've got your panda, and he's got that lovely tilting head. It's the same with the tiger as well, so they match really well. Uh, if you wanted to go, if I just pop that there, you know, if you wanted those two together, they look perfect, don't they? Because they're similar design. They're lovely. And tigers and pandas are friends. <laughs> Allegedly. Lions and tigers and bears and pandas. Oh boy! Uh, right, uh, so your panda, if you want to go for that, £28.99, 979381 is your item number. That comes with a grey bag, by the way, so it matches your panda. We've got the crocodile next. Gorgeous little creature this is. Um, and you wouldn't really give a normal crocodile a little bit of a squeeze and a cuddle, would you? Unless you're Tarzan from the movies. And he didn't really do that either. Uh, 045207 is your item number. Uh, you've got the little legs there. You've got the lovely uh, scale on the back as well. 2599. 045207 is your item number. Now, I hope you've checked out your baskets because we will be announcing the winner when we get to the draft very, very soon. So here is your tiger. Love the tiger. We've been busy for the tiger, actually. Uh, you've got the tiger. Lovely feet. Tiger feet. Now, wasn't that a song? I really love your tiger feet. <laughs> uh -huh. um, you got your tail there. Lovely, lovely <coughs> big paws. And you got the white paws to match as well. It's beautiful. Tiger feet was by Mud, I think it was, yeah. And you had to do the dance where you held onto your belt buckle like that. Tiger feet. Um, and then do that with your feet. Anyway, that's for another day. I'm not going <laughs> to do that live. I digress. Uh, <laughs> but maybe you know someone who used to like Mud and you could get the tiger for them and you've got the giraffe which is lovely oh i said giraffe i was ever so posh then <laughs> oh, sorry i don't know what happened to me then <laughs> giraffe um it's, he or she is beautiful uh 28 pounds and 99 pence beautiful colors in there as well 119222 is your item number right let's announce the winner shall we the winner is Jennifer Allen. Oh, well done, Jennifer. You've got the kit to create 
the lion. So if you have gone for one of the other animals, then that lion will be their friend. Oh, well done. Thank you for purchasing from the show. And a big thank you to Alison. Thanks, Alison. Ah, oh, thanks for having me. How did you find it? Uh, it was it was really good actually. Did you enjoy it? Yeah, definitely. And can we have you back? Yes. You will come back. Brilliant. <laughs> Brilliant. That's what we like to hear. Thank you very much, Alison. And thank you for all your emails as well. Thank you for welcoming Alison to the Hochanda family. So that is absolutely fantastic. Any of the items you want, you can still get them. They will be available on the website. You can watch the shows again with Alison. They'll be available also on the website and on the app as well. And you can watch those for 60 days. So that should be uploaded in about 20 minutes time or so. But it will be available for you when you get your kits home. But you need to get them home. So you need to order them and jump online and do that or give us a call. Um, it's been great fun um, meeting Alison and hopefully we'll see her again very, very soon. Uh, keep your emails coming in throughout the day. Uh, we've still got more shows coming up for you on Ho Chanda. Go and grab yourself a cup of tea.